हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ आशीष एंड वेलकम टू दी कोर्स ऑफ स्प्रिंग बूट इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड एन एंड टू एंड स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन एंड विल बिल्ड स्प्रिंग रेस्ट ए पी आई ऑल्सो विच हैज़ ए कंट्रोलर द डेटा लेयर एंड द सर्विस लेयर एंड द एंड पॉइंट्स एंड इट ऑल्सो कनेक्ट टू डेटा बेस सो गाइज इन दिस कोर्स वी विल बिल्ड एंड टू एंड प्रोजेक्ट विथ एन स्प्रिंग बूट ओके सो गाइज This course requires some basic knowledge of a Spring framework. Spring framework is a very popular Java framework for building the web and the enterprise application. Unlike the many other frameworks which focuses on only one area, right? Spring frameworks provide a wide variety of features addressing the modern business need. Spring framework provides the flexibility to configure the bean in a multiple way, such as by using an XML. by using an annotations and also with the java config classes so guys with the number of the features increases the spring in spring that increases the complexity of an spring project and also increases the configurations of an spring applications which make the application tedious and error prone so guys spring team created a spring boot to address the complexity of an configurations okay so guys the spring boot is an spring module that provide a rapid application development features to the spring framework right spring boot is a spring module that provides the rapid application development feature to a spring framework spring boot is a project that is built on the top of a spring framework okay it provide an easier and the faster way to set up to configure and to run both simple and the web based application and also the enterprise applications it is used to create a stand alone applications and the spring based applications that can just run because it needs a minimal spring configuration right it is used to create a stand alone application okay spring boot is a combination of a spring framework and a embedded servers so guys spring boot is just a combination of spring frameworks and a embedded servers right in spring boot there is no requirement of an xml configurations file okay spring boot uses the convention over the configuration software design paradigm right so why should we use spring boot framework we should use spring boot framework because spring boot uses the dependency injection okay it provide powerful database transaction management capabilities okay integrations with the other java frameworks like jpa hibernate orm sturds etc is very simple by by using spring boot framework right and spring boot also reduces the cost and the development time of an application okay so guys the next is the what are the advantage of a spring boot So guys with the spring boot we can create a stand alone application right it have the different embedded http servers like tomcat and jt okay we don't need to deploy any var file okay and the maven configurations is very simple as it provide pom file right and guys that there is no requirement of xml configurations if you are building with a spring boot right it offers cli tools for developing and testing the spring boot application right it offers a number of plugins to use okay and it increases the productivity and reduces the development time also right so next is what are the limitations of a spring boot a spring boot can use the dependencies that are not going to be used in an application right and these dependencies can increase the size of the application right so next is guys what are the goals of a spring boot the main goal of a spring boot is to reduce the development time of an application is to reduce the unit testing time and to integration of the test time right and guys it provides the opinionated development approach and it avoid defining more annotations configurations it avoid writing lots of import statement and it avoid xml configurations so guys the goal of a spring boot is simple 
is that it reduce the development time and it reduce the unit testing and the integration test time right it avoid using the annotation configurations it avoid writing lots of import statement in our application it avoid xml configuration so guys in one word i can say spring boot helps to build a spring web application in a very simple way and in a ease and a, okay so guys in this lecture we have discussed the goals of a spring boot and the limitations of a spring boot and the advantages of a spring boot and also why should we use spring boot frameworks okay so guys thank you and in the next lecture we are going to see what are the difference between a spring boot spring and the spring mvc right so guys see you in a next lecture till then thank you bye bye